<laughs> Welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. My name's Susie, and tonight we are chatting live. Sunday night chat, one of my favorite nights of the week because it's Sunday night chat. <laughs> I hope everybody is doing great. Whew. If I look tired, old, covered in mud, it's because I am. <laughs> Been outside all day working my butt off. How is everybody? Whew. Man, this is hard. It's hard getting old. But here's how I like to start every stream. And don't worry if you miss it. You can catch it on the end as well. Um, or can you? Hey everybody, it's Susie Q and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey everybody, it's Susie Q and I'm here to show you just what I do. I got a passion for fish and exotics too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey everybody, it's Susie Q and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Na na, hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, so come along with me. Said I'm Susie Q. Also, with my granddaughter. So, I have her assisting me. And if you're watching Zoe, thank you, Zoe. So, she was helping me go fishing and cleaning out ponds. And I just tried to take it one pond at a time. Because, let's see, how, what do I have? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten or so ponds. Let's just say a dozen ponds. Whether they're the small tubs, big ponds, I'm just going to call them ponds for now. Because when you're cleaning them out, it is a lot. i got to look over here because I should have brought down a snack. Am I allowed to eat while I do this? Well, I'm drinking my coffee. Look at everybody in the chat. How is everybody? Oh, yeah, that's my Johnny Bag of Donuts. Peplin, my fish tank barn is lurking. I'm gonna try to see if I can. I can't even. I can't even read. Dave, oh look at hashtag Foxy. I love that. What a great, great bomb. I love it. Hey Bob, Bob Kaler's Mike's Aquatics. Look at everybody's in the house. If I could focus, I can't focus. My eyes. So I don't know if I was ready to um, open up the pond yet. It's, can you hear me? Somebody just said my audio went out. 
Well, I'll talk slow just in case because I know there's like a 30 second lag in case my audio went out. It'll get me time to get caught up. I turned these tanks on blue because for some reason the angle of the camera tonight when they had the lights were on was so white. It was like I was like in heaven. I was like on a cloud. I was just surrounded by white and I was all white and fuzzy. Kind of looked pretty cool. I probably should have kept it. But I didn't. <sighs> so, oh, before I talk about the ponds, can't talk about these yet. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to do a fish room tour. I haven't done a fish room tour in a very long time. I think I will plan that for next Sunday. Because it's going to be like an hour. It's probably, unless I take it in pieces, like all the fish tanks that aren't in my fish room first. And then maybe the fish tanks that are over there. Now I'll just do it all in one hour. We'll just go through it. Oh yeah! But today, I did ponds. And it was kind of cool out. It was still like, like it probably got up to 60, which was nice. I still kind of had a sweater on, sweatshirt. Um, you can hear me? Can you hear me? I'm hoping everybody can hear me because I don't know what this message is about the audio. Because it's saying restart I'm like um, no I'm not gonna restart but before I get started I keep saying that before I get started I want to remind everybody coming up right now this weekend well this weekend is over so the next following coming up weekend and it is April 23rd to the 25th is the NEC Council of Aquarium Society's online convention I have registered, I'm ready to go. This is my first online convention, so I'm pretty excited. Um, I've left a link, I think there's a link below, and it's at northeastcouncil.org, and you can register. I've, sh I've sent out some of the links before. Um, so just in case you're at, hanging out at home, I think it's like seven bucks, and we're gonna have some amazing speakers, and Let's see. Amazing speakers. They got so many things going on. They got a photo contest. So Scott McLaughlin, if you're on, photo contest going on. I know you've been like going real crazy with the camera, which is pretty cool. Some of your pictures are pretty darn good well, to me, which is no expert. <laughs> but I know what I like. I'm sorry for drinking coffee, but... I think I drink coffee every time, so I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I think that's what it is. Is that what they say? Sorry, not sorry. I wasn't going to start on the ponds yet, but I got a phone call. Not a phone call. I got a message on the, I think it was a Bucks County Aquarium Society page. People were talking about oh, somebody who is looking to rehome a redder slider. So my initial response was, I don't have room for a red air slider. And somebody else offered to take them, so I was like, phew, yay. But then, like, Facebook people got on about, do you have the right size fence? Do you really, like, and all this on and on and on, and I knew it was going down, like, and then other people were, like, talking crazy. So I think I'm going to do a video on why you would not want to release a red air slider into the wild. Because some people... John Bag of Donuts included, thought that was a viable option. It's not. It's not. And when I saw that she wasn't finding a home, and now this is Wilbur. This is a 15-year-old red air slider of her grandmother's, and the grandmother's, I think, just getting too old to take care of. So I said, I'll make room, which prompted me to start on my ponds and getting them all ready and that's what I've been doing. That is what I've been doing. I don't even think this is my first time in the fish room today, besides coming down in the morning and an afternoon to feed the axolotls. But I didn't do anything in the fish room because I just been outside all day. 
ensuring that there's enclosures, that nobody's going to take my turtles or my tortoises this year. Um, getting everything ready and starting to clean up ponds. Whew. It was, oh, ooh, I got some funky color going on here. I don't know, I think I've ever seen this color. What? Oh, hold, please. Um, back to Lurking Panty, Bonnie, hi Susie. Bonnie Eden, 1999 Super Chat. Holy cow. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Wow. Hi, Susie. Love your tanks. Hope all is well. Are you going to Aquashella? Wow. 1999 Super Chat. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Now, Aquashella is in Florida. Is that accurate? I have to find out some more information. Um... I definitely have to find out some more information. When is Aquashella? Hey, hey, is that Haley? Do I see Haley in the chat? Hey, hey, Haley. So do you guys want to see a picture of Wilbur? Which I think is just an adorable name. Wilbur. Oh, I don't have a picture of Wilbur. I put it in my thumbnail. Did you guys see the thumbnail? <laughs> But what I did do is I took some, oh, reminder, NEC. <laughs> you like that? Did I fluff that off at all? Yeah, no, not at all. Thank you, Bob, for posting Scott, King of Queen Cichlids. And you guys, check out some of his photos. They're really amazing. If you don't mind, I'm just going to hold my phone in my hand because I don't want to miss anything. And the whole reason I'm here tonight is to connect, and I want to make sure... Everyone's saying, hey, yo, hey, Lee. Well, hello, hey, Lee. Aquashell is Orlando, Dallas, and Chicago this year. All three are going on. Um, I'll have to check with John. But I'm definitely in five, seven days, six days. What's today? So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Five days. NEC online convention. I'm going to be um, in my pajamas from home going to the convention. They've got auctions. They've got. I'm. I'm excited. I was on a call, listening to everything, trying to get acclimated to what an online convention is. So that was pretty exciting. That was pretty exciting. Do you guys want to see what some of my ponds that I put together? Ponds, tubs. You know. I think. Uh, I think uh, I took some footage real quick. So it's not anything in depth, but just to show where I've gotten and where I started from. I'm like super, whoa, that's not cool. Hold on. Haley says, I am super sick and stuck at home at the moment, but I want to say hi because I saw you were live. Love you, girl. Love you too, Haley. Well, I hope you feel better soon, real soon, super quick soon. I'm beat says Dragon Lair. Spent the day going to Repticon. Oh, it was a crappy show. I'm sorry. I've been to a Repticon where it was amazing and I've been to a Repticon that was like, are we sure this was Repticon? Oh. So yeah, um, a spider dealer, one ball python dealer, and what gecko dealer? Why? Why? No, I have not found my turtle, Mike. He's in this basement somewhere, and I will find him because I am clearing out tanks. I am moving things around. I pulled a board off of the um, back wall. It's like supposed to be drywall. He's got to be here somewhere, and I'm thinking he's just in the dark, hunkering down somewhere. And I sit down here for hours in the silence at like 3 in the morning, and I hear nothing. No scratching, no moving. Whew. So let me start with my pond. This is what I'm calling the pond openings. So I'm going to take it this far and stop for a second. So I got this tank. It's a 100 gallon stock tank. This is the tank that Yertle came in last year. Now, if you don't remember, Yertle is my. Is this me? <laughs> Yertle. Is a red air slider I adopted a year and a half ago from a Bucks County Aquarium Society member and came with this 100 gallon stock tank. So, Yertle has, I made Yertle her, her, his own home out in the front, and this is the stock tank. So, I had to scrub it all out, 
pull it around. It was filled with stuff. I put the top back on it. I still have to put some kind of netting over it. But I was able to scrub it out, fill it back with water, dechlorinate it. Now that one is sitting. And it, it get a motion camera. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Poof, magic turtle just disappears. I know, it's ridiculous. If it wasn't a red air slider, I would not believe it. But red air sliders are so uh, magician-like. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, and this isn't in order. This is just the, in the order of which I was taking the film. So over here, I made this stock tank. I think it's a 300 gallon stock tank. I put in a little tub for these cute little wood turtles, Central American wood turtles. And this is the enclosure lid that I'm using right now. It's just a light diffuser with bamboo sticks and it's actually woven in so you can't really pick it up or put it down but during the day when I'm outside I just take it off um, and I put them there because if you can see uh, the, all this um, substrate and everything on the ground is where they were living and they hide so well that I was so afraid I was gonna step on one I even put stepping pads down but these guys, I just knew I was going to end up stepping on one because I'm, you can, I can hardly see them when they're, they dig down a little bit. So I moved them to the galvanized tub and I think they're going to be very happy and very safe there while I get everything started. And that, oh, this white enclosure. Oh, look at the cutie wood turtles. This white enclosure, that's Bruce's, Bruce Wayne, my uh, cherry head tortoise. I'm still bringing him out when it's beautiful out, and he's got an inside enclosure as well. He's two years old. He's about that big now. He's not. These guys aren't going to be a part of my tour because they're outside. So the pond, I actually just did a water change. The waterfall going. Lowered it probably about, I'd say about 500 gallons. And changed the water out so I haven't really cleaned it. It's got two layers of netting that I removed while I did the initial clean, put the two layers. Um, am I live? Let me stop right here. First, let me see if I'm live. I'm gonna go to my phone, cause I think I got disconnected. Susie, did you say you have Merdrill in a tank? <laughs> I didn't. I'm going to wait for the chat to catch up just to see if I'm actually live. Am I live? I just got not only an email or a text going across my screen saying that my audio was bad, that I was no longer live, that I ended. So I just might be, yep, sound is fine. Maybe I am good. Raphael is always a runner off master splinter. I'm talking about your turtle, Susie Q. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 999 Super Chat with an amazing character dressed like a cheerleader jumping in the air. Thank you, Bob Kaler's Aquatics. Thank you so much. You were buffering, but now you're live. Oh, yay. I'm, like, I'm getting these weird messages. I've never gotten these messages before. So if Bob is saying I'm good, I'm good. So we can continue. So I did get the 2,000 gallon pond, at least the initial grunge off. Waterfall going, small little water change. I put out this 40 gallon breeder. It's a plastic, but it's a 40 gallon breeder with my Diamondback Terrapin because he has been in a Home Depot tub inside my 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 reptile room and he is a swimmer i can't put him out in the other tank yet because in the other pond and you'll see why because it's just not it's just not ready it's not raccoon proof and this is the pond that he's going in and if you can see i have some mangrove 
from last year that are have leaves on them, which is amazing to me. So thrilled. The only pond plants that I've bought so far are these three floating hyacinths. And I figure buying three floating hyacinths now is all I'll need. That's all I need. The corkscrew um, rush, I think it's rush. The cork, corkscrew rush was here from last year. Um, see, there's some variegated celery and there's some creeping jenny, which is, it, it's a lemon line creeping jenny. That's the best I could. Maybe I should do individual videos so I know when to stop them and when to start. There we go. These Creeping Jenny were out under the snow. They were just amazing. Absolutely amazing. So anyway, they came back. They came back just like that. Now over here, this is the, tur this is the turtle tub that Wilbur is in. So it's probably about a 300 gallon. He's been in a 55 gallon tank. He'll be all right. I have to secure the perimeters. I have to secure the perimeters. I started putting up gates and stuff. These two ponds, I just ran out of energy. I ran out of steam. Could not possibly, possibly do that. Oh. Let me go back to the camera. Oh, guys. I'm buffering again, huh? Why? <laughs> Maybe it's me. I'm sure it's me buffering. But thank you very much. Oh, I'm live again? I don't know why I'm buffering. So that's what I was doing all day. But it seemed like a lot more. <laughs> that, what is it, one two-minute video doesn't even show the depth of cleaning out a pond, getting the grunge out. Then I drained down all the water and I had to keep on sticking the pond, the pump, you know. But as I'm standing, probably about a, a foot and a half on top of the pond, reaching down, now I gotta reach down two foot lower than my feet even. So there was one point I kinda lost my footing and I fell in the pond. And I was not happy. And I had to act, <laughs> I had to act as if, because my granddaughter was there. So I tried to set an example. I would prefer to have cursed, gave up, said, we're done, let's go in the house. But I had to show my granddaughter with a split second of thinking, that, oh, look, he fell in the pond and smells like poo. <laughs> I did it much better while it was happening, I think. Oh. And uh, it was gross. It was beyond gross. But she chuckled, so that's good. I'm trying really hard to set the right example. Now, I thought when my children, four amazing daughters, got to be 18 and older, which are all in their 20s and 30s. Um, Amy's going to be 40. What? Anyway, in their 20s and 30s. And I thought by the time they were over 18, I didn't have to set the example anymore. You know, I could just let loose. I've already done the best I could do. And they're amazing, amazing people. Um, but now I find hanging out with my granddaughter is like, I got to keep it going. You would think sooner or later, um, I would be like used to it and just be that way, but I'm not. Well, let me tell you, when I fell and got all muddy, got my socks and sneakers filled with mud, smelling like old pond, I wanted to stop, but I just kept going. Ugh. So we kept going and we kept finishing and I got those done and she had to go to a party. So her mom picked her up at about two o'clock which was pretty cool. And I had friends that came over. We were trading saltwater hermit crabs for saltwater snails. So it's really nice to have a fishy friend right up the road because we're constantly doing that. That's where I got my um, blue parrotfish down here. Oh my gosh, I'm talking maybe 50, 60 parrotfish, blue parrotfish fry. 
So if anybody wants any parrot fish fry, let me know. I've got lots, lots. But we're constantly trading and, and, and looking. And she's also the one that turned me on to these silky chickens. What? No slouching. <laughs> Super fish nerd. Always seems like more when you're using them muscles. Holy cow. These are muscles I didn't even know I had. So, y'all. Yeah. I'm glad you're okay. You made your granddaughter laugh. Great blooper highlight. Oh, you will not see that on the internet. No. No. I know. <laughs> and again, I don't care if I got a million views. And no. <laughs> I was not. I was so inside not happy. Bob, I'm out of my mind here. Griffin fish room. What is going on? What did I miss? Griffin is out of his mind here. Oh, so it's so warm here. So that was my turtle. Doing a little fish swap. Cleaning out ponds. So right about that time, John pulls up. He was on a side job. I'll say side job. He's on a side job on his motorcycle. Now granted, he does heating and air. So I don't know how much of a side job you can do on your motorcycle. Because usually you need that big ladder. and But he could have. Because he's pretty good like that. But anyway, when he got home from his motorcycle ride, I was like, I just wanted to take a nap before my life. So badly. But I didn't know. Like, And he was like, are you feeling tired? I'm like, yes. Let's go take a nap. So I could really feel the effects of the extra working out and the the fresh air, the sun. Whew. Whew. Hey, Big J's fish keeping. Oh, I tried to tell you, Griff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Somebody's getting like an I told you so. Ah, somebody's getting like an I told you so. So I'm going to switch over to this camera because I find myself not that camera. What are you doing? See, this is why you should not have too many cameras set up. This is the camera. This is the camera because I'm looking at the chat. This is where I find myself looking and I don't want to have a camera up here with me not looking up there. So anyway, Science Gal's in the house too. Hey, Science Gal. So thank you everybody for coming out and chatting and everything. In case you didn't see it, I'm going to go over this again because I'm so excited about this. The NEC is coming up Friday, April 23rd to 25th, virtual convention, and that's the Northeast Council of Aquarium Societies. I have never been able to go because it's always in Connecticut and for some reasons or not, I just can't get there. So I'm very excited about this. I got baby Oscars. Oh, I can't wait to see. So, oh, look at this. I just saw this. Have you guys ever used this extreme, the monster one? Speaking of Oscars, my Oscars, my Triton, Triton the Trimac. Who else gets it? My Frontosas. Let's see. Let's go show my Frontosas without me having to look in the camera. My frontosis and my blue dolphin cichlids, not this little guy, but that big one over there. Um, all my Oscars, my electric blue Jack Dempsey's. Love, love, love this monster food. I have always done more of the smaller sized, medium sized, even for my larger fish. Just give them a little more, but they love this because it kind of floats. So I just noticed that I had left it out. So I figured, what a great plug. If you guys haven't tried this, you need to go to keepfishkeeping.com. I'm going to put the link down below that has my affiliate link to it. And that would actually help support my channel. Support um, keepfishkeeping.com. And your fish will love you for it. Trust me. Trust me. That's not why it's sitting here, though. It's sitting there because I didn't put things away. When I don't put things away, I just kind of throw them on the ground. So doing a fish tour is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. 
Next year for NEC convention, carpool, I got you. Oh, that would be great. I would love that. Hey, furloughs. That would be amazing. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, did you guys see this tank here? This is probably two year old, two years old, this tank set up. It's got my one rummy nose tetra in it. One. One rummy nose tetra. And got some glow tetras. Diamond tetras. Cherry barbs. And we'll see those in my uh, tour. But that is called a 16 widescreen. I think it's 16 gallons, but it's like 30 inches wide it's only like 12 inches deep it's supposed to be simulate like a widescreen tv love that tank but it's missing some greenery so i'm hoping my plants come in soon so i can plant it out i was going to start splitting up everything but wait till you see the tour as you guys know if you've watched my channel i've got a lot of algae a lot of algae tanks the good, the bad, the ugly. It's all coming out. It's all coming out in the in the tour. Which is kind of why like I kind of get a little worried about doing a fish room tour. Because and I gotta some people are like really mean. You guys aren't. You guys aren't. But oh well. It is what it is, man. I'm a fish keeper. I've got like 50 fish tanks. I've got 30 reptile tanks. I just made that number up. I really don't know how many reptile tanks I have. I never really counted. Because some of my reptile tanks, I call them that, they're really terrariums. I'm just growing some plants. Oh, oh my gosh. Story time! No, I can't. Cutlets, plants. I have a channel called Plantique 101, otherwise known as Plantique 101. And that's where I cover a lot of my... Um, how to's for my plants and stuff and I'm getting ready to switch from Lekka to um, the lava rock, the blue tongue skink, the reptiles, the turtles and the fish. Plants seems to be a stretch. I just want to have all in one channel but I don't think YouTube works that way. It doesn't grow that way. So I kind of had to separate out that and I've also had that miniature channel for a long time because I've been making miniature dollhouse replicas for since the 1970s so that I don't even have to research I can tell you anything about those and the replicas that I've made just by just by looking at it and talking whereas when I'm doing fish because I've only been fish keeping several years I gotta really really do my research to stay on my game look at yeah, not everyone understands the benefits of algae embrace the algae trust me when you see my tour and it's not that i don't mind it too much the blackbeard algae especially it's very like flowing i think it's flowing and creative my polypterus love it they swim through it all the time the jack dempsey doesn't seem to mind and the other tank i didn't know that american flagfish could possibly chomp on some hair algae but my hair algae is going away there I've been working real hard I get rid of my hair algae and my duckweed and in my saltwater tank my cyanobacteria I think that's what called cyanobacteria the red bacteria it's only in my nano salt tank it's not in my 74 gallon salt so uh, I've been working really hard at that and I've got to the point where, so John and Lisa were doing a thing like send in your videos or, you know, maybe you could be a, a, a member, show off your tanks. I was too embarrassed to show off all my tanks on a, a larger channel. I don't know why. And the more I've been going through and taking some footage for my upcoming fish room tour, I love my fish tanks, as is the good, the bad, the ugly love it so shame no more and if somebody wants to shame me they can just shame me oh boo boo oh my what is that is it pink i've never seen pink before 
The good, the bad, and the algae. Oh my god. Okay, I just told the whole story. And I don't think you guys were there. I think I just told the whole story. And I was offline. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed, huh? Am I back yet? This never happened before. I don't know what it is. I'm not on Wi-Fi. I'm hardwired in. It's eCam, I bet. Did somebody really throw a dislike? Oi. Oh, I bet you they did. They do that all the time. I'm really trying to get a thicker skin. I'm trying to get a thicker skin, but... and not take it to heart. Maybe there's some of those people that, you know, like to attack that don't like to be seen. I can see that. <laughs> I'm back. Thank you, furlough. Oh my goodness. It is 7.43 already. I've already gone offline. I don't even know if you heard my story, but I'm not gonna tell it again because it probably wasn't all that good. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been kicked off the internet. <laughs> Like it was intentional. <laughs> uh, but I am looking forward to the NEC online convention. And I'm looking forward to my new turtle. And I don't know if that's the, the home Wilbur is going to stay in. But I have a 500 gallon pond. Maybe the two redder sliders. But a part of me in the back of my head. And correct me if I'm wrong, is saying it's not a good idea to put a male and a female red air slider together. Because right now I am raising axolotl babies, at least 50 of them. I am raising at least 50 blue parrotfish fry. And if I put that male and female, both of which are over 10, 15 years old, um, red air slider, I think I know what the end product is going to be. And I'm not ready for that because selling turtles, I just, I am taking in so many turtles. Like, I'm at my max. So, I'm at my max. But so many people are like, ah, my kids just lost interest. Or, you know, like, and even the ones that I'm taking in, I have to make sure if something happens to me that they have a good home to go to. I'm just very fortunate that I had four children that care. Zoe likes it. Oh, John, bag of donuts. Super chat, $4.99 from John, bag of donuts with no words. Oh my gosh, John, I hope you heard me say thank you. John broke it. Is that what happens? <laughs> Is that when I went out? Oh, so you guys definitely didn't hear my uh, whole blah, blah, blah. Wait, you wait? Hit that like button and subscribe to that plant channel. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. I do love it. And I'm about to put out a video on my plant channel on this store that I went to that had the most rare and exotic plants that are on my wish list, one of which was a uh, Thai constellation. It just looks like a variegated monstera, but... $800. 800 $800 for this plant. Like, needless to say, I did not get it. But I did dream about it, and I took a picture and put it on Instagram, and instantly Cassie's like, she texted me right away. She's like, is that your plant? Is that your plant? <laughs> yes. No, John, I didn't get that plant. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. No, John, I did not get that plant. There was another plant I got. Stay tuned for the video. If you're interested in plants, check out my Plantique 101. It's a, yeah, it's, I'm just having fun with it. Because if I get this inside feeling of joy, freedom, I feel so close to earth. I feel so close to like 
everything that's in this universe when I'm surrounded by plants and fish and animals and reptiles. I, it can't be wrong. It can't be wrong. So I just feel the need to share. And then when I was in the store, I overheard a girl telling her boyfriend that he's got to go Home Depot hopping to look for these specific plants. I was laughing so hard. I'm like, I do that. I do that. <laughs> super chat I gotta I gotta pull up my chat again I missed the super chat Scott King of Queen Cichlids I am glad you registered it says I am registering to the NEC convention yay check out that link because there's photography contest and uh, I think you have a very very good chance of winning you are 